A Dallas man is on a mission to bring back a historical quilt to an East Texas home. He says the quilt was made by his ancestors and was stolen from a former plantation and taken to the United Kingdom. Well, today he took his concerns right to the steps of the British consulate in Houston. Brittany Ford has more on the efforts to reclaim what he calls a piece of family history and African-American history. The chalice quilt has been on display at the American Museum and Gardens in Britain for 40 years. To bring about a heightened awareness to help get this quilt back. But it's a story of how it got there recently uncovered by political activist and filmmaker Eric Williams that has him calling for its return back to East Texas. Started doing my slave research and ancestry and put together a film on my slave ancestors that I uncovered through Harrison County's research books that this particular quilt was manufactured by my family. And the Finding Miriam is a documentary by Williams on his formerly enslaved ancestors in Harrison County, highlighting the journey of his great great grandmother, Miriam Williams. Everything dealing with cotton was manufactured by my ancestors and others on the slave plantation of Mimosa Hall during the 1800s. He says there are several historical narratives on how the quilt was brought to Great Britain, but they all seem to point to one thing. We believe that it was stolen, it was taken. Williams has been working with Councilwoman Shirley McKellar of Tyler and community leaders across the state who wrote letters to King Charles III demanding its release, an issue they brought to Houston's British consulate hoping to bring greater awareness. That quilt absolutely does not mean to the British people what it means to us here in East Texas. Williams says the museum has since seized licensing the piece and has pulled it off display but has yet to agree to its release back to his family. The only resistance that we're getting is from overseas, not here. Brittany Ford, KHOU 11 News. Also, KHOU 11 reached out to the American Museum and Gardens in Britain so far. We have not heard back. There are so many African American families who have quilts like this. I know my mm -hmm. own family has quilts that have spanned generations mm -hmm. as well. And each quilt tells a history mm -hmm. of those people and of those families. So Sad sadly, there's a history of stolen artwork pieces, etc., cetera, uh, from many different cultures and families over the decades. Hope for its return. Mm -hmm. All right.